Let's take a look at the capabilities and benefits of mask testing, a standard feature on our next generation Infinium EXR, MXR, and UXR series oscilloscopes. Mask testing, sometimes called a pass-fail test or a limit test, allows you to define regions on screen that would represent a failure if a signal were to pass through it. Let's jump into the Analyze Mask Test menu and take a tour of what we can do. First, you'll notice there are eight tabs. I'll get to that momentarily. In the default Mask 1 tab, we've got Channel 1 as our source, and we'll press Enable to begin modifying settings. First, we need to tell the oscilloscope what mask shape we want. You can load a mask from a file, draw one using an on-screen editor, or use the Auto Mask function. Auto Mask takes the last save acquisition as a reference and builds a mask based on user-defined tolerances around that acquisition. Let's use that. Once the mask is drawn, you can use the scaling tools to adjust its size, which is useful if you want to scale the waveform after a mask is already loaded. You can tell the oscilloscope how long to run the test for and what to do when an error is found using the multipurpose feature. Multipurpose is also a great feature on its own, letting you set the multipurpose front panel key to do a number of customizable actions, like taking screenshots. I mentioned the eight tabs at the top. Our next generation oscilloscopes allow for mask testing on every channel, standard. A fantastic application of this feature is, say, looking at turn-on sequencing of a power management IC. Once all of your settings are configured, just press the green play button to begin testing. A mask test results pane appears to track results as the test progresses. Finally, make sure to check out the rest of the series highlighting the new capabilities in our next generation platforms, linked in the description below.